Welcome back. And for those of you who just happen to be stumbling across my video, my name is Valentina and this is my viewpoint. In today's video, we will once again be talking about the brand Lug. More specifically, one of their newer handbags called the Stretch. Um, this is an east-west configuration and as you can see I have mine stuffed to the gills so as usual I will be going through what I can fit in here and what I can't. Um, this I can tell you right off the bat though it is stunning I mean look at that beautiful quilting this design is so much better in person than any picture I had seen I took a chance and I purchased it off of another member of our lovely Facebook group um, and I'm so pleased that I did because this is a bag that I had my eye on I just hadn't actually pulled the trigger on it it is a little hard to style you have to have very specific kind of colors I feel um, in order to pull it off but I love it. I'll insert a picture here as to what it looks like on. Um, for reference, I'm about five, six and a half and a size 12, 14. Um, but yeah, it will not be an everyday hair for me, even though it does hold a lot. It doesn't hold everything that I need it to hold. But I definitely can see using it on a special occasion, using it when I want to just have um, the essentials with me to go do errands. So let's get into the bag. As you can see, it has a fully adjustable, fully removable crossbody strap. It is the one and a half inch, which I love. I genuinely wish that all lug bags would come with this thickness of strap, but that's just my personal preference. And of course, with that comes your D-rings where I hang my little hand sanitizer and I hang my heart pouch. If you look at the front of the bag, you can see right here, there is a dedicated cell phone pocket with a magnetic closure. Now, because I have this bag packed so stuffed, um, it is a little bit hard for it to close over the top of the phone, but this is my sample phone, which is about as big as an iPhone XR, and it is fully lined. In front of that, you have this beautiful new detail that Lug added onto this bag. It's it's a very like thick zipper pull. The only thing that I find odd is if you look very carefully, you can remove it, but the hook is actually the zipper pull itself. So you still have that little zipper hook, which actually works nicely if you want to put a round coin pouch that doesn't have a hook of its own. So I can see where they were going for this, but for me, uh, I don't know. It just seems like a little odd detail, though I don't hate it, I don't love it. You do have this very nice gusseted pocket. It's about a, what, a finger and a half, I would say, width um, apart. Love this quilting. Uh, it does not have a wipeable bottom, nor does it have feet. You know me, I'm a little greedy. I either want both or definitely one or the other. So when you open this up, you do have a little bit of a hood so you could kind of put higher things in here i just have a notepad and a comb um there is a cargo pocket on the inside i'll get to the close up to this lining in a second um this is half fleece line so there's the fleece side then the regular print in here i do have my checkbook uh, because i can't carry a regular size wallet which i'll get to in a minute other than that it is rfid shielded you can see with the tag right here it has two card slots with contrasting trim which i think is wonderful so you know exactly where those card slots are and those are the only two organizational features in this particular pocket if you go to the back of the bag there is also another zipper compartment it can go out it doesn't necessarily have a separate gusset of its own but obviously you can see it can stretch out a little bit again all these zippers totally smooth per lug standard in here i just keep my two reusable totes there are no other organizational features in this pocket it is quite spacious but can we just take a moment to look at that interior print oh i need i need everything i need everything in that print too that is gorgeous, a stunningly beautiful print. I love it to death. But anyway, so that is all for that. Now, when we get into the meat and potatoes of the bag, which is the main compartment, it does have several organizational features. It opens nicely, it opens very spaciously. Now, I will say that you can bulk this up very quickly. So it does start to become a tight fit. If I want to carry my planner, I am unable to carry my Splits XL. That's my preferred wallet. I cannot put it in this bag and also carry my planner. So if I'm using this bag 
to take my daughter to appointments or for my own appointments and then I need to schedule appointments, I cannot have my planner with me and my split sex out at the same time. But if I just put my planner in, I can make other accommodations for when I want to hold the things that I put in my wallet. That's why my checkbook was in the front here. So this is an A6 planner. I really, really like to carry that on the daily. Then I have this little card case. So this is where the clear identification window is, where my license is, and these are where my cards go in the back. And then I also have cards in this zipper part, but this is not how I prefer to carry my wallet items, but it definitely works. And then I use my coin pouch inside also, and the bag did come with a key fob, which is amazing. I love it. Very, very cute. We'll definitely use it. However, I do not use it in this bag because it comes with the key clip inside and I just clip my husband's spare keys in there. Um, I think I discussed in my last video how I definitely prefer a key bungee over the clips, but both are wonderful added details and I will take either or. Then you have two cargo pockets on the inside. In this one, I'm keeping the new mini choo-choo that I just received. I do not have the pill case in here. I'm actually just using this as a little pouch for all my bits and bobs, AKA tchotchkes. Um, it was brought to my attention that some people may not know what that word means. I've been saying that word since I was single digits. Chachis just basically mean like little little things, chapstick, tweezers, uh, nail clippers, band-aids, like just that I keep in my purse at all times. So anyway, that is for that. This is ocean blue, mini choo-choo. Love this size pouch. In this one, as you can see, just lotions, eye drops, chapstick, things like that. And this is the... Uh, one of the two seesaw pouches in butterfly gray. I know it doesn't match, but I love my butterfly gray. Um, so that is it for those two cargo pockets. They're actually quite nice. Oh, excuse me. There's a mirror. Ha, my daughter got me this. Um, these are actually very nice sized cargo pockets um, for the bag. Next to those two cargo pockets, you do have your two pen flats, which of course, you know, one of my favorite details that Lug can add to a bag. And then behind the two cargo pockets, you have your privacy zippered pocket in here. I just keep a spare mask. And then on the front side of the bag, there is your clear view pocket. I won't take everything out here, but I just keep my phone accoutrements in here. Um, it is a nice sized pocket. It goes down to the bottom, but it does not go the entire length of the bag. So that's really it. Um, I do feel it's a great bag. I think it's a good size. I thought that it would be a little too long for my liking, but it actually isn't. It looks really cute on the body. Um, it's very comfortable to carry. But again, for me, this will not be an everyday carry. It's just um, too, a little bit too small. If they came out with like a stretch XL, which I guess seems a little counterproductive, but if they came out with a stretch XL, probably would go for that for sure. But that's it. I hope you, as always, enjoy this video um, and I really, really appreciate you watching and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Bye.